Traveler, Paimon. Great timing. We got a lot of letters in the mailbox, and I just finished sorting them into four groups. Nice work! Well, the real work hasn't even started yet. Hmm. Which batch of letters should we read through first? Who knows? Let's pick one. Take a look at the blue board. Right here, right? Okay. Uh, read letters about a flower that is not of this world. Well, I mean, we probably gotta read through all of it, huh? Read. Oh, let's just, just go down the line. Oh, uh, do we really gotta read all this? I don't wanna read all this. That's too much reading. Do we gotta read through all these? They don't gotta. Okay. Is there anything in, anything good in there? Okay, you know what? I'm good. Let me read. Come on, Hoyo. Let me quickly summarize what we You're found tripping. out about a flower that is not of this world. Tainari believes that on closer examination, it might be logically paradoxical, while Albedo says that his answer would be better discussed at length in person. As for my answer, I think a clock in the shape of a flower would constitute one that is not of this world. Here's what we've gathered regarding a guide who will never get lost. You know what we should get? Lola we should get like a. She'd like to join us in uncovering the um, secret behind the prophecy. A glider like Paimon's little. Official, Mona, or the traveler's potential candidates. Mika didn't submit much, but he did draw a vegetation map for Master Tainari and wrote up a dragon spotting calendar for Saito. A dragon. Oh yeah, he's still trying to see uh, the in. ball in her. She right. said that she sees herself as nobody's guide, but everybody's friend. As for one who would never lie, Rosaria removed herself from consideration, but both Razor and Sino are willing to support us in our search. Timaeus seems to have forgotten to write to us. And finally, this is what we've gathered on a legend that never ends. Glee said that her mom has a number of friends who like to write storybooks. Man, I'm mad we didn't really see Jean, man. Legends live forever in That's BS. Hearts. I think that for a legend to be never ending, it has to be filled with hopes and dreams and actively pass from one person to the next. So, what are the answers to the four riddles then? Uh, you're really smart, Paimon. I bet you can figure it all out in no time. Or, let's all share our thoughts on what we think the answers might be. Wait! Wait for me! Oh, Timaeus, what brings you here? I wish I didn't even know I'm sorry, who I really this guy's crush is. The time just got away from me, and I didn't get around to writing that letter. However, I'm happy to announce that I think I can be the one who would never lie. Huh? This is kind of sudden. Not that we don't trust you, Timaeus, but, um, could you elaborate a little after you catch your breath? Uh, of course, of course. <sighs> Do you still remember the time I, uh, um, collaborated oh, is it with a certain Miss Ying R? Oh, Ying R. It's Ying Ying R. I'm still gonna call her Ying R. Uh, I don't remember that. Remind me. Well, basically, she helped me out a lot with my research into potion making once, and well, we've stayed in touch through Bro, letters ever since. Bro, if he has since. a crush on Ying R, dude, I so called Yinger. it. That Sucros mentioned earlier? We always assumed you were hard at work every time we saw you at the crafting bench. So you've just been writing letters to Ying R the whole time? Uh, no, I mean, not all the time. I've done some work too. A and anyway, our correspondence covers a lot of serious topics like perfumes, potions, alchemy. Anyway, a few months ago, I made a vow to the heavens that I will be true to myself and never oh, it is Ying word Wow, until the dude, day I call that it. That's awesome. Win Miss Ying heart. So, at Star Snatch Cliff, you were picking 
Cecilia's as a gift for Yingar? Well, that's right. The Cecilia flower is said to represent a once wayward heart transformed I by the power name, of her love. name, though. I couldn't think of a better Yingar? flower to give than that. I know full well that Miss Ying R is far more knowledgeable than I in both the ways of the world and the ways of our craft, but I thought I should make the effort for once and put myself out there. <clears throat> Which brings me to the subject of the last few days and the Windbloom Festival. I thought it was time for me to invite Miss Ying R to Mondstadt, but yesterday Albedo told me that Sucrose has been working hard to help another girl achieve her dream. <gasps> and when I went to take a look at our roster, I saw that she'd done my remaining work for me. I feel incredibly guilty. I've been spending all of my time in my own fantasy world while everyone else has been bending over backwards to help other people. How could I ever hope to be worthy of Miss Ying R's love if I'm so selfish? Oh, Timaeus. And that's why I've decided to join you. But then what about Ying R? Yeah. Haven't you been planning this for over are a month gonna, now? Are we going to see her on Mondstadt? You said you were going to invite her to Mondstadt. Uh, well, yes. I, I did mention in my letters that I'd like her to visit, which is why I just sent her another gift with my hand-picked wind blooms, along with a handwritten letter. I remember that mission with her, man. I explained that a matter of great importance has presented itself, to which I must devote my full attention for the time being. As soon as it's resolved, I'll make haste to Liyue to pick her up in person. I made sure to package the gift and letter with the greatest care. All I can do now is hope that she'll understand. Point being, please know that I sincerely want to support you in this endeavor. Plus, I think I'm an honest person. As far as I recall, I don't think I've told a single lie in my life. I feel like Timaeus has what? probably the most screen time of an NPC. Thank you. Because I think our first oh, thank wasn't you, our everyone. first event or second event. He was already in there, and he always okay. makes his way in. Like, so it looks like we found like one who almost lie. well, probably not almost every hey, monster event, but On to the other three. but pretty much a lot of them. Okay, Paimo will do the honors. Ahem. We have with us here the flower, the guide, the legend. And Timaeus. <laughs> huh? Why did you only say Timaeus's name? You should say my name, too. All right, all right. We also have Klee. That's me! <laughs> Demon child. Klee here. This all somehow feels like we're getting ready for a field trip. Well, there's nothing wrong with a more relaxed atmosphere, is there? Uh, Albedo, have you figured out your answer? Of course. We will soon see if my hypothesis has any merit. Actually, I'm still feeling a little nervous. Me too. But weren't you all fired up just a moment ago? Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Actually, I'm a little worried too. <sighs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> I know what you're feeling. Saying anything becomes so much harder when there are so many people watching. Well, I remember somebody told me that chewing gum of kind of calms your nerves. Like if you're nervous guys. about something, just chew gum. Hmm. According to the prophecy, once we figured out the answer, we should test it at the Lantern of Utmost Joy. Wait, but where is this lantern? Oh, we know something about that. I've already found out where it is. What? What? <laughs> Look at them. The two awkward friends. Wow. That's amazing. You really know how to do everything under the sun. Then we'll let you lead the way. Follow me. This is it. We're off to find the sacred location of the Lantern of Utmost Joy. Okay. Go where the Lantern of Utmost Joy is. Oh, oh, this is where the first, uh, I think, one of the first events was. I think. Oh, I was on top. Okay, maybe I was wrong. I was going to the beach. Guess not. 
I don't know why I'm just going. I don't feel like crying. <laughs> Oh, we got yelling. According to the map, it should be somewhere around here. Let me take a look. here hmm now that i think about it the prophecy didn't say anything about what the lantern the utmost joy actually looks like right maybe we've overlooked something traveler are you trying to figure out something else from the paper exactly oh exactly <laughs> means but okay then he uh i don't got the uh, thing still huh? I'm gonna read that. But, uh, but there's nothing about us. Uh, the wind didn't trick us, did it? Uh, slip also says now you should recite the incantation. Pop on, take a look at this. Place the squirrel on the back of the pointy-eared cat, and a pious puppy will open the doors to show you the way. Huh? Paimon read the whole thing out loud, but nothing's happening! <gasps> look! Look! The wind is blowing! What a strong wind current. Uh, let's write it up and see where it leads us. Oh, wait, what is that line up in the damn sky? Huh? W we'll have to fly up there? Uh, can someone carry me with them? <laughs> Here. Damn. How about like, yeah, come on, man. I got you. He going there? Oh shoot! Ah, this is the first time I've ever flown like this. Oh, what the hell? Ah. What is How this? Did this little island get up here in the sky? Did somebody make it? Just to be safe, I've been jotting down our entire I'll route here. Homie. This For way, real. no one will get lost. Oh, good thinking, Kale. Huh? Who would have thought we'd find this kind of table Just imagine here? one day we will be able to fly all the way up it's to Celestia. Like someone was holding a tea party. Hopefully. I never would have guessed that such a place could exist. Right above Mondstadt, too. Look at the pretty lantern on the table. There's even a chair for each side of the lantern, too. There seems to be something on the back of this chair. Let me have a closer look. Take your seat, present your answers, and you shall reach enlightenment. Well, as far as instructions go, I guess that's simple enough. So we just need to do as it says, right? Wait a second. Huh? What is it, Albedo? We'd better make sure this place is safe before taking our seats. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Everyone, please stay clear for a moment. I'm about to do some alchemy. Okay. Well, all our questions and doubts aside, the scenery here is pretty amazing. I don't think I would want to go on a floating land. <laughs> How is everything? Only if I have a parachute or something. Hmm. Everything seems to be fine. I didn't find any traps or suspicious mechanisms. But I also couldn't find any overt destructive devices. Huh? What do you mean? Well, it seems that wrong answers won't have any catastrophic consequences. Looks like we'll have to sit on these chairs and fulfill the prophecy. Everyone, I would like to suggest that we try some risky answers on our first attempt. Let's reserve our most confident answers for the second round. That sounds kind 
of smart? But why? Ah, I get what he means. If we do as he says, then we may be able to figure out how the puzzle works. I see. That makes a lot of sense. <sighs> Mona, is there something wrong? You're not looking too good. Oh, are you hungry? I brought some snacks. <laughs> Thank you for offering, Klee, but that's not quite it. While Albedo was checking just now, I gave my scryglass a spin hoping to find some information. But there's a strange aura to this place. It's almost as if someone has been staring at me as soon as we stepped foot in here. But if nothing here has actually been physically tampered with, then... No. Could that person be... Mona just shivered. Did she send some kind of great power? What do you mean, Mona? Who could it be? Uh, never mind. It's not like I've got. The crazy thing is, when we first seen Scar, Mona kind of like tried to uh, warn us also. So. Ugh, don't leave us on the edge like this, Mona. Don't count Mona out. Hmm. I'll just do what Albedo said. Yes. Now let's test the hypothesis together, Klee. <laughs> Come on, join us, Mona. I mean, we got Demon Child anyway, so I mean, we All safe. Right. We might get blown up in the process, but okay. you know. Then I'll answer the first be question. All right. If someone were to ask me to find a flower that is not of this world, you can do it, Sucrose. Um. Then I would fetch a tetratonic sweet flower. All right, I'm up next. My part of the prophecy is to find a guide who will never get lost. Kole, I hope you found your answer. <sighs> My answer is that I will be that guide. Makes sense, though. For a long time, I have been guided by others. It's taken me a while, but I finally made it to where I am today. Although well, she is a forest ranger a after all. For myself, and I'm still quite immature. I, I would still like to put my name forward, because I would like to become a guide that can help others. I want to help others the same way Amber, Master Tainari, Sino, and everyone else helped me. Now it's my turn to pass on the gift that I've been given. All right, it's up to me to answer the third part. I. I'll submit myself as one who would never lie. Although I've never really had any other virtues or talents, I'm confident that I've always been an honest person. I, I'd like to thank everyone, too, for giving me this opportunity to validate myself. And last but not least, I will answer the final part of the prophecy. There's no tale more befitting the title of A Legend That Never Ends than Our Fates as Human Beings. Wait, oh, sure. the lantern just lit up! Whoa, all four sides of the lantern are glowing! I swear to God, if this is like Alice is doing again... Huh? But... Because I remember what, the the Golden Ar Archipelago, that was like all Alice is doing. I wonder if she's she doing this again. Uh, But all we did was submit a batch of test answers. Kali? Could I ask you to stand up for a second? Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> Alice be like, oh, y'all wanna uh go seek some legends? I'll make ones for you. Like, here we go. I'm hmm. just gonna pop open or pop this land with this lantern that huh? you guys wanna go on? seek legends. <laughs> So I think I think Alice is supposed to be like one of the most powerful catalyst users. It's pretty clear now, isn't it? We've just proven that there is no right answer for this prophecy. That's why Clea, a damn demon child. No right answer. Like, but how could that be? <laughs> like I think yeah, I think Alice is the one who uh, taught her how to just make bombs. Like you would really teach her Although child. All the instructions had come from an old and enigmatic bombs, prophecy. Bro. It is, in fact, nothing like the ancient mechanism that we had all imagined it to be. 
I believe the lantern only serves as a simple signal. Oh, who that? Oh, is that uh, Russian girl? And to think, I never expected you to actually find this place. What? There's someone else here? We meet again, traveler. It's Russian girl. Hey! Or Fountain girl. Or so that. We met the other day at Give me Russian vibes. It's all thanks to you that I was able to find this place. Scarlet. Good thing that you were too preoccupied with the prophecy to notice someone tailing you from the shadows. Oh, is that so? Then why do I spy yet another person <laughs> following in your shadow? Bruh, this are you. Wait, really? Hey, you thought you, you look, she thought she was doing something. <sighs> There's no need for pleasantries. Well, sorry, I was like, bitch, please. You should know I'm here for you. <laughs> Is it just because oh, I'm a visitor from abroad? I was there when you snuck your way into Marjorie's place. Huh. So you had your eyes on me even then, huh? That was two whole weeks ago, you know. It's hard not to notice you when I'm on duty every day. All right. In that case, I'll admit it. I was the person who slipped this prophecy into the storybook. Huh? But why? Then, does that mean... Of course. This wasn't a real prophecy after all? Don't worry. Even though you probably have plenty of reservations about me, you can be sure that the prophecy is genuine. In fact, many of you here today may have heard the code name of the one who left the prophecy to me. She hailed from an ancient assembly of powerful women, each of whom used a single letter to signify themselves. Who would have guessed? It seems that power was indeed left behind by the old hag after all. Ah, so you're B student. It's an honor to meet you. I am Scarlet, the successor of Jay. Who is Jay? Well, what are you talking about? It's a long story, but I'm not quite sure that I'm the best person to tell it. Since you've all spent so much time and energy trying to decipher this prophecy, you must also be very interested in the secret behind this lantern, no? The lantern has already been lit. Now then, please allow me to disturb your happy peace. Whoa, I don't know. Disturb your happy peace? Is somebody in there? Huh. Well, we about to go out like a monster and shit. How strange. Who's that? Is that Lisa? Hello? Hello? On the other Hello. side of the lantern. Sounded like Lisa for a little Can bit. Can you hear me over there? Mom? Bro, I swear to God, dude. Is that mm -hmm. Alice? Oh, I hear many youthful voices. That's Al. Bro, see, I told you, it's always Alice. Alice is always doing something. Madam, bro. I am Scarlet, the successor of Jay. I watch too many lore videos, bro. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Since we've last gathered, well, Jay's it's not even about the lore videos. It's just become so so easy, like unbelievable. Wait, wait, I just, wait, I just, I just had a feeling. Like I got Yinya right. I got Alice right. Come on, come on. <sighs> old hag, who would dare say that? Is that Mona? I guess we don't know yet. If this is Alice or not, though. But I mean, I would think Clee would know her own mom's voice. <clears throat> hmm. And what of imitation and mimicry? It has always been a fool's errand to mimic and learn from humanity. Oh, it's Alice. I'm oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> mom, why are you trying to talk like other people? Uh, <laughs> I swear, so Alice is be doing this here. out of fun. Well then, my warm. I'm gonna just make all everyone. these little legends true, just for uh, to have people on Mondstadt, uh, so they can do something. Miss Alice, they can have fun and wind you... bloom or whatever, or I'll uh, take a uh, take a trip to uh, to the beach. Oh, we gonna we gonna make this about something else. Well, it's been many years since this lantern last lit up. You can't blame me for thinking that one of the old friends from my youth may have decided to catch up again. Huh? Why she sounds so coy all of a sudden? And if I recall correctly, 
We left this lantern in the care of the animal Archon Barbados. Hmm. You must be commended for uncovering an artifact and trust it to the god of wind himself. Tell me, are you sitting around my beloved I'm tea sorry. party table? I feel like Alice and Venti cool as hell. Alice probably went to Venti like, you know what? I'm just gonna make all these legend things come true so we can we can fuck with the people. It's a really long table. Venti was probably drunk and he probably said like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, so you are. <laughs> I suppose this means even the animal Archon has granted you entry to this place. Was all of this Scarlet's doing? Wait, wait. Paimon's completely lost now. So what was this assembly you were talking about earlier? Oh, Miss Alice, would it be all right to leave the explanation of that to you? This is crazy, man. Oh, no. Just drop my controller. Okay. <laughs> well, you should be rewarded for making it all the way up here and activating the lantern. Now then, let me tell you a long and ancient story. I mean, these legends are probably true anyways. It's probably just Alice is kind of giving them the, the breadcrumbs to find out. Ever heard of the Hexen oh. Circle? As the spooky name suggests, it's a secret society. Once upon a time, it even challenged the animal Archon himself. But he replied, let us make music, not war, and resolve our conflicts through song. Oh, really? From then on, the mages would only ever convene in the woods, in the skies, or on the edges of cliffs. Okay, Alice got to be one of these parties, little... They discussed their these, stories and this group is. and resolved their differences, as the tea and cakes bore witness to their pledge never to fight amongst themselves. Yesterday, I snuffed out the life of my beloved. He had grown old and was extremely sick. He loved me dearly, so I took his fate in my hands and ended his pain. Oh, what? Kill him? I'm raising a son. Of all the children I had, he's the only one left. Who's the... <laughs> Hold on, do, do I look like Duluth? that still makes me a mother. My lifespan is nothing is that Duluth, compared Mom? to yours, so I wish to leave you with my storybook. Actually, maybe you can oh, pass it on to your children one day. Oh, this looks interesting. Let That's me Albedo? try. My dear sisters, we mustn't let prophecies like threaten our today. bonds of friendship. Oh, is that even the most frightening witch was once a little girl? I forgot what and her growing name. Growing up can be so tough. So with a R. Sometimes we all need to vent our troubles to the wind, even if the nations go to war or the sky falls down. The mages tea parties shall forever be held around this table. Okay, so these are mages. Okay. Okay, they must be powerful if they was about to go fight their meetings. Oh, Venti. That's right. We often met here to chat and have tea. But I wonder who that was, what though. What about the part saying that if we light the lantern of utmost joy, we'd receive a supreme the blessing? Sun? I mean, it could be Albedo. Because, I mean, he did get... I know he got made from... What's her name? Start with an R, I forgot. I know she was like a really, really powerful mage. I think she was probably like the part, most powerful mage, I think. Oh, her name. about that. <laughs> I never expected anyone other than Jay to actually read the full contents of that prophecy. It's a little embarrassing. The truth is, that prophecy was actually just a letter that we sent to Jay as a group the day before her wedding. <laughs> Who's Jay, though? Hmm. So it was indeed written by all of you. I must thank you for resisting the urge to immediately reveal the truth to everybody, Albedo. Knowing you, you probably figured out everything the moment you laid eyes on the message. No, it took me a little longer than that. A flower that is not of this world. A guide who will never get lost. One who would never lie. And a legend that never ends. These four descriptions signify four individual mages. Hmm. 
when a member of the organization had to leave the group to spend the rest of her days with her beloved, the other mages would write down this prophecy and send it to her to invite her for a final get-together. I wish we can see the mages. A flower that is not of this world signifies, of course, flowers that do not oh, written, uh, exist in this written world. Oh, written Rhine Daughter. This there you go. This is the signature of R. Full name, Rhine Daughter. Yeah, that's the one also who made Albedo. Gold. If there's anyone in this world who could create a flower species that does not yet exist, it would be her. Yeah. yeah. The guide okay. who will never get lost is N, otherwise known as Nicole. You may not have encountered her yet, but she is a truly extraordinary woman who has oh, made this world's never direction and order Nicole. her subject of study. Some of you may be fortunate enough to have already heard her voice. Like a prophetess, she will only speak to guide people toward the truth when a change has occurred in the world. She has a tendency to suddenly speak in someone's mind without any warning. <laughs> so are they still alive, though? They, they gotta be. I mean, gotta be. But I wonder where they at now, though. Uh, could she have been the one who spoke to me while we was investigating NG? If one day you would be unfortunate oh, yeah. enough to run into a truly dangerous the last, situation, like couple minutes of the Archon use her Quest, voice to guide the way forward for you. <sighs> oh, is this the this Fontaine about to be crazy? Who would have guessed that there are so many mysterious women in this world, and that they would all know each other? The one who would never lie Tell us is the powerful ones. me. I hope no one would take offense. It's just that I, Alice, or A for short, have always had a soft spot for those with sincerity and candor. I mean, yeah, you probably don't never lie, but you know how to s freaking As sway people to the wrong direction. Ends, <laughs> you may not know M in person, but you've likely encountered one of her works. Have any of you ever read The Boar Princess? I swear, I swear the freaking Golden Ar Archipelago. I remember that missions. Huh? I'm pretty sure every child in Mondstadt has read that Those book. missions. <laughs> it's also one of my favorite stories. M was an exceptional human writer who used her prose to teach me the meaning of grief. Don't you think such a person would deserve a seat at the mage's table? Paimon's getting more and more lost. It may sound hard to believe, but I can attest to everything that Alice has said. Jay was also a mortal who aged and passed on. Oh, she died. Leaving her title to her students and followers. Okay. Alice, you've never acknowledged any of Jay's successors. It's now been centuries since the first So what about the other on ones? Mantle. I doubt Ryan Daughter's dead. I've always wanted to meet you. Alice is still alive. And Nicole, I don't know what she, uh, don't know if she's dead or not. Do you also want to become a mage? Title aside, I think I'm more interested in the meaning and purpose of the Hexen Circle. I used to think that the Hexen Circle was a group of women who could control the very fate of this world. But now, I've seen for myself that besides Jay, many other ordinary people I want to see that cutscene again, you. though. I want to I wanna zoom in to that little baby. Do you think less of us now? No, not at all. Well, my first thought was my Duluth, interest has been but it and does make I'm sense. It makes more sense the about idea of becoming a mage. You're right. I've never acknowledged any of Jay's successors. But you are different. You are much more fascinating than any of your predecessors. But the thing is, I've seen something that... The teapot... The teapot looks like... Uh, I've oh, seen it somewhere, like in Deluxe Mansion or something. Alice's interest? Now is not a good time, Scarlet. But as soon as I am able, I will seek you out for a meeting. I want you to tell me all about Jay's married life back in her hometown. So the mage who received the prophecy letter from all of you was Jay? She left the Hexen Circle after getting married? Precisely. There was only one way the letter could have been interpreted. She would have known what we meant as soon as she saw the message. We were just asking one thing of her. 
Please come to see us again. Before you go and settle forever with your happiness, please come share some of it with your best friends and sisters. So, the Supreme Blessing actually meant... All journeys are fleeting and will eventually come to an end. What will give us the most fulfillment and happiness in the end are those who will greet us at our journey's destination. Dear child, I believe you can also understand what I am talking about. We women will always have many troubles and encounter pains and frustrations that will keep us up at night. But no matter how hard things may become, we will cross mountains and oceans to see our best friends again, regardless of how many years have passed or how far the distance may be. Okay, what's your excuse, Alice? As long as we, have we can come be back. with come our on, beloved yet. friends, our hearts will be filled with joy. To us mages, that's what being supremely blessed is all about. I'm so curious on what Alice looks like. She gotta look like... I mean, she obviously she gotta has to look like Klee oh. a little bit, so... Hmm. Maybe a, like a grown-up Klee. Still don't get it, but I do <laughs> know that all the mages are mom's best friends. <laughs> if you ask how I see it, the Hexen Circle is just a group of ladies that I spent my youth with. Anyway, I'll introduce some of the other members to you all later. I still have a few things to attend to, so this will have to do oh, for today. No, no, you you gonna have to spill everything. Bye, Come mom. on. Todoko says bye too. Goodbye, darling, and farewell to all of our other friends as well. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Oh, now that I think of it, isn't it getting close to that time of year? Hmm? Yes, it's Windbloom oh, yeah, again, bloom. Alice. It's also a special anniversary date. I'm sure you still remember. I wonder where Alice is, man. Yes, I do remember now. It was on this day, many, many years ago, that Jay tied the knot. Oh, she got married. Hmm. Jay. Oh, just in time for the Festival of Love and Freedom. Everyone, please enjoy this year's Windbloom Festival to the fullest. Love's voice fades and lantern grows dim. It is once again just a regular piece of decor. For a moment, everyone looks lost in thought, but soon Chatter begins to fill the space again. Before long, everyone spreads their gliders to return to Mondstadt. Whoa! Ah, Albedo! Why didn't you tell me we'd have to glide all the way back down? Look at how nice game is take it easy that was that it oh he about to walk are you okay Timaeus maybe you'd feel better if you just you know let it out I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just oh, a little glider sick. That's all. You may want to look into getting your own gliding license when you have the time. It might prove helpful to you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's like one of our first missions. Uh, Get a freaking a okay. glider license. Sure thing. It sounds like you've still got something on your mind. Why don't you tell us? We're all happy to listen. <sighs> it's nothing, really. It's just, well, Alice's story was really interesting and romantic. I won't argue about that. No, you should have brought Yinger, man. But what still, the whole thing wasn't quite what I was hoping for. I would have got you in a bag, bro. Of course, <laughs> I didn't actually expect the supreme blessing to be real, but... <sighs> Don't say that. None of this was your fault, Timaeus. Honestly... It's more on me for having agreed to be the Wimbledon Festival Special Ambassador. Had I not asked for everyone's help... If anything, it should be my fault for finding that prophecy. 
No, it's uh, the Russian girl's fault. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to blame just the two blame of you her. either. I just feel like this whole adventure didn't really end on a high note, and we also didn't really get anything out of it. True. Mm. But um, I'd say we still learned something that's new. That's what I'm about to say. We learned about the Hexen Circle or whatever that is. Well, that aside, Timaeus, you still need to go to Liyue to apologize to Yinger, right? Do you want Kali and I to accompany you? Oh, I will. Oh, <laughs> Miss Ying R. Well, uh, I mean, I want to see Ying R again. I just really don't want her to get mad at me. Now that I've come back to my senses, oh, uh, I really don't know what I should do. Hey, you three, you may want to look over there. Oh, the old Ying R, bro. Huh? Or Ying R. Looking for Miss you. Miss Ying R. Oh, so that's Miss Ying R. I've never met her before. Yep, that's her. And she actually came all the way to Mondstadt. All right, man. Uh, Just to I see you. I'm so sorry, Miss Ying R. But, but how did you? Uh, I mean. <laughs> Are you so happy just to see me? Oh, there go that seductive I, uh, voice. Of course I, I remember. Am. I'm so happy that uh, I don't. Uh, sorry, I, I don't like know what to say. like the Lisa of Leoway. I was ready to give you a harsh scolding, but now that I've seen you like this, I suppose I could let you off the hook this time. Yep. I remember. <laughs> you said you couldn't come to pick me up because of a very important matter, right? Well then, of course I had to come and find you instead. <laughs> Should we go see how they're doing? <laughs> Look, she may freaking like pile my about the cock block. Why well, wouldn't? You'll get hit by a forest boar if you interrupt a couple's romantic conversation. Oh, really? Uh, we'll just leave them alone then. They look quite happy. Maybe that's what Wimboom's all about. The adventure has come to an end. Everyone bids fail. Where? Uh, I am so okay. glad to see Timaeus so find his happiness. I have to say, I'm even more envious of you, Sucrose. You can be happy just to see others happy. And you gave me so much help without any expectations in well, return. Timaeus, man. Even though you said that we're very much alike. I'm about to score I tonight. I still feel like you have a much bigger heart you than I do. You came all the way to Leeway. Go to Mondstadt? Oh, yeah, he if in you there. say that, he then I'd in say there. I'm also nowhere near as brave or tenacious as you. I guess we have the same amount of positive qualities. They're just spread over different parts of our personalities. I've never visited Sumeru, or made many friends from outside of Mondstadt. I'm happy just to have met and become your friend. Maybe I'll get shy and flustered when I meet other people I don't know in the future. But that's okay too, since we are so alike. You know, you probably get what I'm trying to say. You didn't really get like a lot of amber you just cole need to that all of your issues interactions, but you know that's aren't fine. Really issues at all. I I'm digging the sucrose cole um, friendship but thing. Isn't it too late now for me to learn to accept myself? Uh, well, hmm. Do you know anything about the blooming cycles of Cecilius? Um, I may have read about that in a book before. That's a topic that my parents used to talk about back when they were still dating. Surprising, right? I don't know what? To think that people would talk about that while on a date. Well, her parents were still dating? What do you mean, they're not together no more? My mom brought it up at dinner one time last month. She called my dad... The most boring man oh, she damn. knew, and said that he even That's turned up late up. to a date once, all with a smile on her face. But she also said that learning is just another part of life. It is. They, they, it's never the, too late to start something, wholesome. as long as you recognize yeah, that look, it's something good for Look at my boy Tamaya's out there, man. He getting his res on. <laughs> oh. Why don't you give it a try, Kale? Okay, I'll try my best. Wish my boy the best. He got this, though. They are really having a great conversation. Paimon can't even find a moment to join in. Well, isn't it great that they're getting along so well? <laughs> I nearly forgot. This is for you. This texture. 
Are these seeds? <sighs> yep. I believe I mentioned my sweet flower research to you before. These are the seeds of the sweet flower cultivars that I've worked on. It's nothing too special, but they're the best cultivars that I've made. So, I really hope that you'll like them. They're super sweet and easy to grow and keep. I'm also submitting uh, them as my wind blooms for this down. year. Look at them, bro. I wish that the animal archon could also see how lovely they are. <laughs> Just go to the bar. <laughs> He'll be there. Thank you. Like it's night time already. Oh yeah, he's a, he's definitely at. Take good um, care of them. Yeah, but he had the look bar right now. Kale, please take these notes with you. I've heard that you've been working hard on your studies, so I've prepared some study materials for you at Sucrose's request. Feel free to look through them whenever you can find the time. Mondstadt's doors will always remain open to you. Uh, thank you so much. Really, I probably should just I... move to Mondstadt, bro. Uh, I don't know what to say. I, I'm just really happy. Ah, Sucrose, now's your chance. Didn't you want to collect a breath of joy? Oh my god, we're still doing this? They're gonna breathe in the test tube. You're right. I almost forgot. Kai, oh can you exhale once into this test tube? Really I will save this know. breath of joy and use it in my research. Oh, really? May I? Of course. I saw somebody ever do that to me. Hey, can you breathe in this bag so I can collect your breath? I'll punch you in your face. Uh, Kole excels into the soup. <laughs> That's still in the fluid. Turns a deep violet. Oh my goodness. A small sparkling cloud then puffs out of the test tube and rises into the air like a marshmallow. Where it's taken away by the wind. Huh? Okay. What? What was that? It was like a little cloud of happiness, <laughs> though. and now it flew away. That is weird, though. Like, bro, you my. <laughs> it's like it's like meeting somebody, chill, chilling with them, uh, chilling with them the whole day, and you like, hey, bro. You know, I, I, I'm about to get this job tomorrow. I need you to pee in a cup for me. Be <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck? I just met you. What the hell? Well. <laughs> Luckily, there's still some breath about the drug the test, test tube. Me, bro. I'll and I, I need now. you. I'll keep working on it and let you know as soon as I have oh any breakthroughs God. in my research. Yeah, you can write to me. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I receive your letter. Oh, it looks like you found a new pen pal. Master Trinari! Saito! If your friendship was forged in a test tube, does that make you test friends forever? You know, I was about to say, Sino, one last joke before the mission ends. That's it. I think you've ruined <laughs> Sumeru's reputation in Mondstadt beyond all hope of repair. All that matters is that I've enjoyed Mondstadt immensely. Can somebody just the tell this guy you need more delivery, a majestic man. form. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> Sino just needs to work on this his card back is for you. Sino jokes wor worse than dad jokes, I swear. Uh, what? This card back is for you. Wait, for me? Sino wanted you to have one for yourself. If I had to guess, I'd say he probably wants you to use it if you challenge him to a duel. No, man. I'm a master of the game. Do you dare challenge me? Oh. Cue up the Yu-Gi-Oh music. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? Let's knock him off his high horse. It's time to duel, Yu-Gi-Oh! Wait, I've got something to give you too. <laughs> huh? Kali has a gift for us? Yeah, I figured I should follow local mods at customs and prepared a few small things themed after the Wind Bloom Festival. Huh. I made these bookmarks from Samaru Roses at the hotel. I want to give them to Amber, Master Tainari, and Sino. During Windbloom, Mondsetters offer flowers to the people most important to them. You three are family to me. But Tainari said that we're not anything like an academic family. He wouldn't write joint papers with us. Well, 
In this case, we can consider ourselves as regular siblings. And that should be just fine. <laughs> I agree. Oh, and here are some Potisara seeds as well. These are for the Traveler, Paimon, and everyone else from Mondstadt. Whoa, are these really for us? <laughs> Thank you, we really appreciate it. So, are these your chosen Wimblums? Mm-hmm, one of them. Both Potty Sours and Samara Roses are my wind blooms. Although they're not native to Mondstadt, they are the flowers that can best express my feelings. I want to give them to the people I feel thankful for. To those who I wish to accompany as we greet more seasons and future wind blooms together. The real blessing in life is when you are surrounded oh, by people who you'd miss day and night. And who you'd want to see even if that meant crossing mountains and oceans to do I love, so. I love how they included Noel too. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so happy to hear you say that. <gasps> Sucrose, do you see that cloud over there? I see better not say it looks like a test tube. Huh? I swear to God. Doesn't it look just like your test tube? Bro. <laughs> I'm dead, dude. I swear to God, dude. I'm done. I'm done with Genshin, bro. I am done with Genshin.